Well, filling your hot tub and balancing your water is actually a fairly simple and easy process, Aaron. Let's walk through the process. Well, Scott, the best way to get started is to fill your hot tub using a clean screen pre-filter. Okay, it's just a great tool to have on hand. Uh, to keep it simple, it just takes things out of the water. We prefer not being I there. love it. So basically what you're saying is this cleans the water before it ever hits the hot tub itself. Mm -hmm. Love it. Great idea. By the way, what's next? Well, it's important to have test strips on hand. Okay, And test strips are a very easy way to determine the condition of your spa water in regards to pH, alkalinity, and calcium hardness. Very important. Regardless of any sanitizing system you're working with, it's important that those levels are properly balanced. In mm -hmm. fact, the test strip bottle itself has an easy color match guide so you can see whether you need to increase or decrease mm -hmm. any of the levels. Now, Aaron, you mentioned hardness. Specifically, what's the recommendation for a hardness level with the ACE system? Hardness levels for ACE owners need to fall between 25 and 75 parts per million with that perfect target being 50. And again, that optimizes the performance of the mm -hmm. cell itself. Now, what if my testing level shows that it's higher than that optimal level? What do I do? We've got a great solution for that, Scott. It's called Vanishing Act. Okay. okay? And again, like the test strips, a very easy product to use. And this will actually lower the hardness levels in your hot tub water. Perfect. So once we've balanced pH, alkalinity, and made sure the hardness is appropriate, we're off to adding salt. Now, I, now, this isn't a science experiment. I don't have to like be doctor, doctor science here. Uh, Scott, I think they considered me when making these directions because there's no math involved. Okay, tell us how we okay. figure out how much we put in. Well, every A system comes with a quick reference guide, okay? And just by knowing the name of your hot spring model, mm -hmm. okay, that guide will explain how many cups of salt you need to add. Perfect. So I find my model, the corresponding number of cups, pour that number of cups into the filter compartment, mm -hmm. turn on the jets, mixes things in, we're good to go. You got it. Excellent. Now again, we'll be showing you in just a few moments, should you wish to watch the next video, how to customize the control panel to the appropriate spa size as well as your user level to make sure we customize the experience to be right for you. But before we go there, Aaron, let's talk about that first 24-hour period after you've made these adjustments. Yep, it's important that owners understand that the uh, teardrop icon on the control panel mm -hmm. will likely be blinking this entire time. And again, there's nothing to be concerned about. It's actually the process of warming up or breaking in. And what you'll find after 24 hours, the system will be fully engaged. Now, Aaron, there's also a couple things to think about, and that is your set temperature to make sure that it's at least 100 degrees or higher, because that's the optimal level to get this system moving. Now, Aaron, let's face it, not a lot of customers want to wait 24 hours. Good point, Scott. And uh, taking that in consideration, you'll notice that the owner's manual recommends that you increase the chlorine level to three to five parts per million just by using granular chlorine. It's simple to do and allows you to get in right away. Well, with that, we'll take a look now at how to set the controls. Now that the hot tub's been filled and the water's balanced, Aaron, it's time to communicate to the ACE system just how large a hot tub it needs to go to work for. Mm -hmm. So that'll be our first step, telling it the spa size. The second thing we'll communicate is what our anticipated level of use will be. Both super easy to do and detailed well in the owner's manual, but Aaron, give us a quick visual reference of how we set, first of all, spa size. To start, what you want to do is hit the options button. When you hit the options button, you'll see the words water care in the mm -hmm. bottom right hand corner. Press water care. And then you'll see the word setup in the bottom right hand corner. Okay. Press setup. Now in the top right hand corner, you'll see the words spa size. By hitting the spa size button, you now have the ability to move the spa size either up or down. Makes perfect sense. And since I looked in the owner's manual, I know my hot tub is correlated to the number eight. I would just simply go to this arrow, toggle up to eight, and then reach over and press the button that says confirm. Yes. Now, once we've confirmed that, uh, it's time to go ahead and talk about anticipated level of usage. How do we get there? Again, hit the options button, press the water care button in the bottom right hand corner, mm -hmm. and then in the top right, you see a place where you can change your usage level. Perfect. So if I press that button, obviously it comes up again with the arrows to increase or decrease, mm -hmm. and the same process goes. By the way, give us some advice. If you are uh, using your hot tub between three and four days a week, uh, what should we initially set this for? A great place to start, and according to the owner, owner's manual, would be a use level of three. Perfect. So once that's set and confirmed, we're good to go. So there's a great start with the control panel. 